Hey there folks. Today we're going to talk about something that's been lurking in the shadows. Silently affecting your health. It's a little molecule called uric acid. The sneaky culprit behind obesity and metabolic syndrome. If you've been battling with weight gain, or dealing with health issues like high blood pressure or type 2 diabetes, it might surprise you to know that uric acid could be part of the problem. So let's put on our scuba gear and dive deep into the world of uric acid. Uric acid is like the garbage that's left behind after our bodies digest purines. Purines are compounds that are found in foods like fish, organ meats, red meat and alcohol, especially beer. Normally, our kidneys are like the brave janitors. That take out the trash and get rid of uric acid through urine. But sometimes, our bodies produce too much uric acid. Or our kidneys don't work as well as they should, and the uric acid starts to pile up in our blood, causing trouble. High levels of uric acid can lead to health problems like gout, kidney stones, and even heart disease. But here's the kicker, uric acid can also contribute to weight gain and metabolic syndrome. So let's roll up our sleeves and get to work, folks. It's time to fight back against uric acid. Let's talk about the dynamic duo of uric acid and obesity. Uric acid and obesity have been linked together through several mechanisms. It turns out that high levels of uric acid can make it harder for your body to regulate blood sugar levels, aka, insulin resistance. And as a consequence your body can store excess glucose as fat. But wait, there's more. Uric acid can also stimulate the production of fat cells, and increase the accumulation of fat in adipose tissue. So basically, uric acid is like a cheerleader for fat cells, screaming, gimme an F, gimme an A, gimme a T. But the fun doesn't stop there because uric acid is also a troublemaker when it comes to metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is like a villain squad made up of high blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat, and high cholesterol levels. And guess what? Uric acid is their evil leader, reducing the production and functionality of nitric oxide, a molecule that helps keep our blood vessels dilated and our blood pressure in check. Plus, uric acid can cause inflammation and oxidative stress damaging the lining of our blood vessels and increasing the risk of hypertension and other cardiovascular diseases. And to top it all off, uric acid is like the joker of the pack, promoting the accumulation of fat in the liver and leading to a condition called fatty liver. And we all know that fatty liver is a major risk factor for metabolic syndrome. So, uric acid can be a troublemaker in the world of obesity and metabolic syndrome. But now that we found out about it, what can we do to combat it? The number one perpetrator when it comes to uric acid, fructose. Fructose is like a sneaky little ninja hiding in sugar, honey, fruits, fruit juice, sodas, and processed foods. So, we need to limit our intake of sugar and focus on nutrient-dense whole foods that contain a variety of protein, fiber, and good fats. Next on the hit list are purine-rich foods like organ meats, red meat, and shellfish. These bad boys can contribute to elevated uric acid levels. So, we need to limit their consumption and replace them with lower purine alternatives like veggies, legumes, dairy products, and fruits low in fructose like kiwi, berries, citrus fruits, and avocados. Next we need to stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water can help to flush excess uric acid from the body, and prevent the formation of urate crystals in the joints and kidneys. And if you want to level up your hydration game, Consider drinking lemon water throughout the day, because it's been shown to help reduce uric acid levels. Maintaining a healthy weight is also key. Obesity is a big risk factor for high uric acid levels, as well as other health problems. So, let's adopt a healthy and balanced diet and engage in regular physical activity to achieve and maintain a healthy weight. And if you want to go the extra mile, get moving. Because physical activity will put the blood in motion, meaning the kidneys can eliminate the uric acid faster. Let's not forget about alcohol. Alcohol consumption can contribute to elevated uric acid levels by increasing its production and impairing the excretion. So, let's limit or avoid alcohol, particularly beer and spirits. Lastly, we can consider dietary supplements. Some natural compounds like vitamin C, magnesium, and quercetin have been shown to help reduce uric acid levels. However, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement. Well, there you have it, folks. Uric acid, a not so fun topic. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more health and wellness content.
and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.